Hi there. Time to make the feeling bad goat card. I know, sounds crazy, right? All right, I've uploaded the SVG. I've got everything all worked out the way I wanted. I've edited it, fixed it, and here we go. First load of the mat is the Whisper White, and that's gonna go right here. And I'm gonna say continue. And load this baby in. And it's going to want a pen. I'm going to use medium cardstock. Stampin' Up loves medium cardstock or Cricut loves to cut Stampin' Up with that setting. Needs a pen and I'm going to say go. Now Cricut's going to go ahead and write the feeling bad part. And then it's going to go ahead and cut out the rest of it. This is gonna end up being a little sentiment that can go anywhere on my card. It's not part of the, um, the actual topping of the card. You'll see what I mean when I get it cut out. It's hard to explain right this second while it's working. I love to watch the cricket, right? It's always impressive. <laughs> Don't be in a hurry. And if you're trying to write a lot, yeah, that probably doesn't work very well. So as soon as it finishes that, it's going to swap it out and tell me to switch the pen. Put your blade back in. And let her finish. So now it's going to finish cutting out the words that it just wrote. And it's going to cut out the goat that's going to go on the front of the card. That looks like so, right? We're going to let her do it. Notice I have texture on this one. I used one of the new embossing folders right here, which actually are leaves. But when put on a goat, it kind of looks like fur. So now we're cutting out our actual words, and then the next layer is going to be my top layer. It's going to be my pattern paper. See, we have a goat, and then we have our two feeling. <laughs> okay, we're going to put those to the side, and then we're going to, whoops, I forgot our goat. Isn't she adorable? Cute little goat. And then we're gonna do this right here. And load you in. This is from the new designer series paper greenery. It's so pretty. Um, okay, so in the meantime, and I have, to, I have to fess up, I do this like a hundred times till I get it right. I keep doing it wrong. I want the goat's fur to be lumpy on the top. So I'm going to pop my goat in here and I'm going to run this through my embossing machine, my Big Shot. Oh, I'm ready, Cricket. I'm coming. Hold on. Okay. And there, our goat has fur now, right? Okay, easy peasy. Now unload. And carefully put that right there. And then this is our very last shadow layer. <coughs> you can see how quickly <coughs> these cards go together. So in the meantime, <clears throat> she fits right down in here. There's a place for the feet, so you know where to position her. I don't know why she's a girl, but she is.
and put this together. So this goes here and this goes like so and then we're ready to put it on our card. So let me do some little adhesiving. Okay, there's that. Now, this is gonna go right here. And then I have to decide where I want my sentiment. I think it's gonna go up in the top. Super simple, right? And then, feeling above is gonna go right here. and a cute little get well card. But because this isn't part of it, it could be different. <clears throat> you could change the bad to something else if you wanted. There you go. <clears throat> All right, happy card making. See you soon.